Ooh, no fancy slides, I'm afraid. We were, uh, we were concentrating on the album, weren't we? <laughs> so the uh, problem we set out to, to tackle was of getting data to diagnose occupational asthma. Uh, large number of new onset uh, breathing problems uh, in working age people in this country relate to uh, exposures in the workplace, something irritating their lungs at work. The way we currently diagnose that, the way I currently diagnose that, is I give the patient a stack of bits of paper and a breathing machine and say, blow into that, write the number down on a piece of paper every two hours for four weeks. And then the patient hands me the stack of paper and I type it into my computer. There had to be a, a better way. We we're almost there. Yeah, like it was interesting because uh, this is a problem that I've never met anyone before. It's a problem that I was literally working on uh, about last month because we have a nurse. She literally spends an entire day typing in people information, and I spent an afternoon trying to shave like one minute off that, two minutes off that per patient because you know that adds up over time. And actually, the solution much better. <laughs> and so uh, we have sort of working uh, an app. Uh, on the patient's phone. Um, not on the there, I'm afraid. Yeah, so I hope you guys have done <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, uh, the patient uh, takes their peak flow reading, uh, types it in. Remember, these guys are often doing it uh, in the workplace. They're trying to hide it from their employer because the employers are worried about health and safety and trying to, to you know, not get caught out on something like this. Um, so they can quickly take their pre-fly reading, pop it into the um, uh, app, record whether it's a work day or a day away from work, um, and then we've got a, a feature there that at the end of the four week period, the patient presses the button and it will send by email uh, to me a JSON blog I think we fixed on, with all their readings on, which I'm hoping one is going to yeah. come pinging through now. Given, um, uh, we'll see. Anyway, I don't know how the phone reception is in here, but uh, if not, we'll be winging its way to you right now. Any questions? Should we do the quick, oh, wait, wait, hold up. And then the idea is you see, you, um, Ian works with a completely assessed, different system to what I work with, but it doesn't matter because it's literally just a JSON blob that says times peak flow readings, uh, work day, not work day. So any Tom, Dick and Harry or Tomina phone data <laughs> De 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 uh, can do it. Uh, and so essentially the output for that for the end user with I think Oasis is what you guys yeah, use we use. would be something like that where you just be able to drag and drop it into your system and what you've just had is a nurse who's spending a day or Ian who's spending a day well now it takes you like less than five minutes to do your entire patient care for. And although it's not quite complete, I mean it pretty much, there's not a lot more to do really. Uh, so maybe it is, but. Um, spraying the aspergen the whole of the day. So the minimum you can get away with, sort of, is four recordings per day for about three-ish weeks. Um, the gold standard, and then you can see the sensitivity go up. Um, up to there. Anybody? So how much more does it need in order for you to take away music? A bit of spin and polish, I think. Yeah. I, I don't like the blue. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this will work with, I think, as it is with the more sophisticated uh, chat, needs a bit more explanation and so forth, um, tidying up around the edges for the, the less computer savvy, I think. Uh, so I, I have wondered, possibly, you can disagree, is would it even like prompt you? Yes, that would. Actually, it was on our initial we feature. Complete, I've completely forgotten that. It was on the first <laughs> uh, one. Yeah, and that when you reach a certain critical amount of 
readings that might then prompt you to say, are you ready to send this to your doctor? Yeah, it needs the, the longer time period to be because but, but yeah. I think you should always assume that the person on the phone is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're busy lives, don't they? You know, every time I'm asking people to record their blood pressure over a week and things, and there are some people who do it really, really well and have very organised lives, but most of us don't. <laughs> yeah, we've got other things. So, yeah, any other questions? No? Great, thank you very much.